So you get in the car and you're on your way, or so you think, and then you hear that sound, or sometimes no sound. You know what I'm talking about. You know that weird one, or those weird ones that make you go, what is wrong with the car? We've got automotive technology teacher at Jonathan Grant High School, actually master teacher, Tracy Ann Hall, who's going to help us this morning to figure things out. So we um, learn something before we take the car to the mechanic or maybe something we can fix ourselves and we don't need to go to the mechanic in Tracy Ann, maybe? Right. Morning, how are you? Good morning. You're a master teacher. Yes. What does that mean? It means that um, you're appointed by the Jamaica Teaching Council and Ministry of Education as an outstanding teacher who has gone beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. We have, we have currently have about 30 mm -hmm. master teachers in Jamaica. And so, and so you've been in your area of speciality for mm -hmm. 18 years. Yes. You've taught at other schools. Right. You've also taught at Jagas, which is a Jamaica... Okay. German automotive German school. German automotive school. Correct. So Tracy, and I am to understand that anything that happened on your care, you can yes. know is what I want? Yes. You fix it yourself? Definitely. You don't take it to no mechanic? Never. Honey, Tracy, and on speed there. <laughs> All right, let's get in the car, Kadeen. We're going to figure out, um, Tracy, and you're going to help us figure out some of these okay. zones. All right, the first one is, hold the steering wheel. That's all like a timing belt issue. Noise at startup. No, that wouldn't be a timing belt. I knew that. <laughs> Come again. Think again, cuz, please. That, that sounds like a serpentine belt. Actually, it's usually Jamaicans call it the fan belt because first time it used to used to drive the fan. So currently they- I'm sorry, you used to what? Drive the fan, the cooling fan. But now- Drive the fan? Yes, but it doesn't, the fan is electronically controlled now, electrically ah, controlled now. Ah. So it's the serpentine belt. So once it is slack, or if it's too tight, you'll hear the bearings getting damaged, so you'll hear that louder sound. Wasn't I close? I said belt. Yeah, I just well, chose <laughs> the wrong belt. That's true. Fun timing. No, the timing belt would make that sound. <laughs> All right, right, fan belt, okay. So it can all, the belt can also be worn, that, that gives you that So sound. it needs to be replaced? Yes, definitely. How long do you keep a, a, a fan belt in? Well, it, there's no timeline. You usually check it to see if it's worn. Okay. So once it's been checked at every service, oh, then it gets know. worn. It starts to make that sound. Yes, it's it starts to crystallize. So, right. It will Correct. burst. It can burst. Okay. So if constant checking, then it will prevent you from having that problem. But definitely, if you mm. hear that sound, ladies especially, gentlemen mm. tend to sometimes know more about what's going on. But ladies, if you hear that sound, go and check your fan belt. Next sound. That says it's a click when turning. Oh, that one is actually CV joint. Right, that's a part of the steering system. So if it's damaged, you would hear that sound. But to prevent damaging of the CV joint, because most of the time what causes damage is when the boot on it is burst, then mm -hmm. all that grease that is in the joint ah, drains out. Ah. So when you lose that, then the, the joint becomes damaged. Okay. All right. So hence usually, the clicking sound. Hence the clicking sound. So usually, again, that should be checked when the car is being serviced. Okay. To ensure that the boots are not okay. worn. All working. right. Gotcha. Okay. Next one, Miss. How do you use? Clicking noise is often caused by a Don't tell us. Oh. Noise when driving over bumps. All right. That one now can be a little tricky, right? Could um, have, that could be. It can a be many things, things. Okay. exactly, because um, the this, this suspension system consists of several parts. So it could be the um, sway bar, it could be the strut. What's the, what's the sway bar? That's, a, that's part of the steering system. Okay. Going to it will be a little Okay. Right. So you have the strut, could be, or the springs, the coil Shocks. springs. Right. It? Okay. The same thing, right? Okay. So um, it can be any of those things. So it, um, usually you take it to your alignment stand, let them check these things to ensure that they are, you know, which one to find or which one is worn. And even if you don't hear the noise, can you not tell when your shocks are in need of replacement? Can you not feel it in the You ride feel it, definitely, because yeah. you will have a smooth ride as what you'd have before. Right. So if mm -hmm. you're going over, see if you're a policeman, you feel the car a little more. 
F uh, definitely. Yeah, then mm -hmm. you might know that things are... Simone, you know a lot, man. <laughs> I'm tricking the teacher. All right, the cow, well, go on, go on, cards. <laughs> Let me not preempt you. You know that one that intimate, quite reached me about three months ago. <laughs> Went in the car, tried to turn it on, not turning over at all. Right. This one, no, there, there are two things that can, can cause this. The first one, it can be your battery that is um, dead. Dead. Or almost <laughs> dead. Yes. Because you only hear the sound, it was totally dead. Yes. So it could be that, and it could also be your starter motor, because if the solenoid on your starter motor is, is worn... What you'll... is a solenoid? <laughs> just try it. It's just, just a, a, it's just a part of the... It's just a part of the... It's just a part of the starter where it makes contact before it sends it to the motor for the motor to Got spin. Got it, okay. All right, so you'd hear that click-click sound. So sometimes it's a starter, but what I want females especially to know, because I've seen it happen, where a man come and say, Give me a log tool, and they use a log tool and bang the starter, so it makes the matter, matters work. Because when that's, that starter could be serviced, then they cause more damage to the Much starter. Of it. Definitely. Don't give the man them your log tool <laughs> for bang your starter. So I, I just want to make that clear. So it can be the battery or it can be the starter. Okay. All right. All right. But I guess the best thing to do is to call at that point. Call the electrician. Or, call. or the electrician. Right. Or the automotive electrician. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Next one. Brake pad. So listen. Listen to this. Mm -mm. When you press the brakes, I hear that, Tracy. Oh, that's the brake. All right. That one, Simone, you know, you know, you have, you have that experience before? Um, not really. Good. Because not that loudly, definitely. because usually when I hear it initially, yes. I know something right. needs to be done. So to prevent from prevent you from actually hearing that sound any at all. Every general service have your automotive technician check Take your brakes. brake. Because you, want, you don't want your brake shoe or this part to get that low to damage the rotor exactly. or the job. Exactly. So once it gets low, it's going to damage other parts. And if you change so out the exactly. rotor and the pads. <clears throat> Definitely. Cha so you ensure that your brakes are checked at all times. But once you hear that sound, sometimes there's a marker on the on the disc pad that, that goes on, on the rotor to just alert you that, look here, it's low now. Mm -hmm. So once you hear it, you should get your brakes checked. But also if you don't hear it, you mm -hmm. can also feel it. Because sometimes mm -hmm. you, when, you, when the brake pads are fine, you press, you get a nice resistance. Definitely. When the pads start to go too low now, or you, you find it taking further. too long to stop. Definitely. Check your brake pads. Okay, last one. It's like a rattling, rattling noise um, in the car. Usually, they say, having to do with exhaust, maybe? It can be. Well, again, that sound can be several things, but based on, on, on um, what they're trying to identify here is the, the exhaust pipe. Sometimes the rubber, there's a rubber that holds, that holds it also. Mm -hmm. So if that gets damaged after a while, you have to change it. If it's broken, mm -hmm. then you have to um, get it replaced. Okay. So that's that. But that sound can be many things, though. Okay. So um, it, checking to see if, if cards, we have the first sound. No? Do we have it worked out? Anybody? No? Produce? Well, let me just talk through it anyway, because I think it's very important. How do you know when your steering um, fluid, steering wheel fluid okay. is low? You can, well, actually, it shouldn't be low. If it's low, you have a leak, definitely. So you'll feel it when in you the... you say it shouldn't be low, what you mean? Because... Once you put it in... Once you put it in, it should not go down. For how right, long? For a couple of years. I mm -hmm. mean, it stays, yes, it stays like four years, you won't have to, you just ensure, once you see it going down, you know that there's a leak or the steering pump is defective. Okay. But again, you'll feel that in your steering. Right. So not right. just hearing it, but you'll feel the difference But in what will you hear? All right, usually, you can, you can hear... Like a friction sound? It's a little rough sound. Yeah. But again, it's more of a feeling. Yeah. It's more of a feeling. So the steering is stiffer oh, than... <laughs> is she dropping out of the car? <laughs> 
No, it's, you, it's you in the car. It's, yes, but I'm driving. You are, you can't drop, drop out as a passenger. Jeez, I'm Trace. All right, we appreciate this. Um, just stuff to listen out for on your vehicles, especially mm -hmm. for the ladies from a lady who knows all about cars, Tracy Ann Hall, master teacher and automotive technology teacher at Jonathan Grant High School. Thank you for your insight this morning. You're Much welcome. appreciated and thank you for driving. Driving <laughs> in my car. The steering wheel. Up so next, <laughs> helping to rebuild a home for the homeless. Come Tracy. Okay. We're on the road.